So this motherfucker from uh, American Idol, Sanjaya Malikar. This this cat's got some killer hair. That shit is tight. Apparently, this dude invented the pony hog. <laughs> A mohawk ponytail hybrid is genius, man. Shit is genius. Art History 101, so it's 1912, right? Duchamp gets his freak on, tunes up his formal chops, and busts out. New descending a staircase number two, right? But this dude still feels hollow inside. He's got cats on his left, like Picasso doing violin and grapes. Look, everybody knows in 1912, Picasso was not fucking around. You're gonna step to that, you're gonna get your dome peeled quick. Everyone around him is a stone-cold assassin with a paintbrush. He sees that shit as facile. See, I'm thinking that shit's bumming him out, yo. Now, by all accounts, Duchamp is a mad brainiac. Right? So he goes back to the lab and homie grinds hard on the thinking tip because he's mad smart and wants to use some asymmetrical warfare type shit to win the art game, right? He thinks it through good and then that shit strikes him like a bolt of lightning. <laughs> See, it's just like in that movie War Games with Matthew Broderick, but he can't know that. Duchamp can't know that shit because it's 1912 and Matthew Broderick hasn't been born. There ain't no nuclear weapons and supercomputers yet. But still, the way I figure it, it's exactly like the denouement of that movie War Games. It hasn't learned. Is there any way to make it play itself? Yes, number of players zero. Joshua? Strange game. The only winning move is not to play. They both run simulation after simulation trying to outfox the enemy in war games. It's the doctrine of mutually assured destruction for Duchamp. It's the legacy of Michelangelo, Titian, Picasso, and all the other artists he sees as nothing more than brush monkeys. It's brilliant, man. It's brilliant. Both Joshua and the supercomputer arrive at the same conclusion. After mercilessly grinding through simulation after simulation, he finally draws a conclusion, and in his synthetic voice, he declares a strange game. The only winning move is not to play. 
and see Duchamp, just like Joshua realizes he's got some weapons, he's got an arsenal, man. Look, he's got some chops with the brush, but he, he can't fuck with Picasso or Michelangelo or Titian or Tintoretto. And because Duchamp was a fucking baller, he says, fuck that shit, and repositions art around the conceptual and away from this technical arms race through his ready-mades, and he goes on some asymmetrical warfare type shit to win the art game. Marcel throws some urinals and small bike parts into an exhibition, and in this simple move, he disrupts centuries of thinking about what the artist's role and what the nature of the art object is. Look, this shit was straight badass. By throwing some old bike parts in a urinal in an exhibition, he straight sunned Picasso. Sup, son? See, fact is, Holmes straight sunned Picasso and his Tody Brock and centuries of technicians with this one simple move. Checkmate. Checkmate, son. So by my math, this along with some other crap gives us 105 years of the primacy of conceptual, of the conceptual in art. Well, we ain't in Kansas anymore, son. And it ain't 1912, it's fucking 2017, and we live in the future. And I'ma tell you, I'ma tell you now about Duchamp's bitter harvest. I'ma tell you what he has wrought and how we need to recoil, how we need to reclaim that shit. See, here's where we loop back to the beginning of our story, to Sanjaya Malakar. See, that shit got tired because the Confederacy of Dunces took the ball and run with it. It's time the pendulum swung back, kid. Fuck, dog. Spend five minutes in any graduate art program, a planet Earth, gallery, museum, or contemporary art collection, then you'll see more motherfucking de-skilled objects than you can shake a stick at, Holmes. What's this mean? Well, our man Benjamin Bucklow defines de-skilling as the persistent effort to eliminate artisanal competence and other forms of manual virtuosity from the horizon of both artist competence and aesthetic valuation. In simple English, this means people painting like shit and shamelessly making terrible objects, yo. Fools are making straight garbage trying to play that shit off as conceptual because they don't have the skill and they have no discipline. Now, you may think that I'm blaming all this shit on Duchamp. I'm not. I come to fucking bury Caesar, not to praise him. We live in a post-fact, post-quality, post-criteria culture governed by Trumpian logic. It's sippy cups and snowflakes everywhere, with nearly everyone, not all, but nearly everyone, hiding the garbage that they present as moving contemporary art behind the notion that skill, that technique, that discipline, that craft are passe and unconceptual. Well, that's some fucking bullshit. The unfortunate truth for the arts is that we could give two fucks. Post-modernity, information technology, and the echo chamber of the internet have made all things possible and in the process laid waste to our ability to call bullshit, establish criteria, and to discern. And the simple fact remains that our culture is not obsessed with mastery. Look at Sanjaya Malakar and fucking American Idol. And you go ahead and Google the Unmonumental Art Exhibition at the Walker Art Center and feast your eyes on what conceptualism has wrought. In this Trumpian universe, we've lost the capacity to say this is bullshit. 